hi, howdy, and hello. It's dinner time. And how does it not start out good when you start out with bacon? Or, to be more specific, bacon wrapped stuffed meatloaf. All right, let's make some meatloaf. Let me get my big spoon. Got it, I have a big spoon. I love this one. In my bowl, I have about two pounds of ground beef. I'm adding to that one whole white chopped onion. Does anybody else find chopping therapeutic? Or this noise annoying? Look at this. That's not annoying at all, is it? I bet you wish I'd stop that. All right, I'll stop it. I'll stop it. All right, so, so far, man, don't this onion smell good? All right, cup quick oats. I know, people use breadcrumbs. I don't use breadcrumbs. My mama taught me to use quick oats. Don't knock it till you've tried it. All right, fresh cracked pepper. Kosher salt, some more kosher salt. My cooking needs all the help it can get. Some Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> That's about enough. Um, some ketchup. We're gonna measure this very precisely. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay. It has to be five and two, or it won't work. All right. Three eggs. One right in here. And then a little hujaja. A little garlic powder. Please don't tell my mom or she won't eat it. Hi, Mom. And a little parsley because I like the color in there. Oh, no, that'll never work. Let's go all in. Yeah, I like that better. And then, last but not least, some Dijon mustard. And regular yellow will do, but be sure you measure that too, all right? Okay, to the magic of television, we will mix it. Ready, set, go. And poofo changeo. We got some meatloaf. And I got this little pretty right here. So, uh, you might even have seen this video floating around Facebook. That's This is not an original thing. I'm... Not this creative. Well, I'm this creative, but not when it comes to food. So, we're taking um, a little less than half and putting this in here. And like I said, if you've seen the video floating around, I've made some modifications. First of all, I didn't use... There's a little buggy. There's somebody on my phone. There's always somebody on my phone when we video. Well, in reality, there's always somebody on my phone. Alright, so in the video, they used a lot more bacon. I'm worried about the grease content, so I just went with one pack. This is just one pack of bacon. Also in the video, they used these whole. Um, I don't know if I want that much cheese in mine. So, I cut them in half, and I think they'll work out just fine. My assistant shaking her head yes, that they'll work out just fine. Yes, big yes. You look, you look like Silas with learning the yes part. Oh, I miss this Silas. Okay, so, and actually, this worked out pretty good. Now, in your time, working out how long this is going to take you, remember, it takes a minute to open up all these little cheesies. And guess what's going to happen? There's going to be one left. I think that might be for the, the assistant. Okay. Then, in the recipe, they did this. So we're doing this. And Chris is already not happy. But I've left these big enough so later on she can pull these out. I'm trying not to put all that juice in there. That's why I'm going at it a little sideways here. But... I kind of like this concept here of the tomatoes. Alright, so first this. Hmm. It's a concept. And then relish. And again, let me try to get a little juicy. Yeah, I did pretty good with that. Alright, and we will just. Can't afford to waste it, you know. 
children starving in Africa and right down the street. So, all right, so the relish has moved in very nicely. Oh my goodness. All right, now we'll put the rest of the meat on top, flip it over, and I'll be right back. So now we're just gonna work on folding over bacon, and actually I think it's gonna work out well it's going to cover these little spots for me. Look at that. Maybe. Alright, so we're going to cook this. 350, 45 minutes. Um, no, we're not, to be honest. I'm going to do 350 for 30 minutes and look at it. And I don't, in this pan... I don't think it can hold too much grease. I think the grease is just going to work its way out on the tray. We were worried about it not crisping up. I may at some point during the cooking process flip this out onto a rack and bake it on a rack to ensure the crispiness of said bacon. All the juice is already dripping. We got to get something on this tray. Also, as luck would have it, or kismet works look at that one right there what i'm gonna do is make this happy little thing for krissa oh isn't it so cute i love little cute things little baby love little baby love covered with the bacon that'll stick up a little and so those little parts will be crispy like you like oh isn't it so sweet Babushka loves her bacon. Yes, she does. All right. We got to work on a side salad and a dessert salad with pasta. All right. Get these in the oven. We'll be right back. You have to salt the water if you're going to cook good pasta. I'll tell you that a million times if you watch my videos. Salt in the water first. That's going for the origin of pasta. And now we're going to take half a bag of coconut flakes. Spread this out here and get these in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes to tote stuff nice for my version of the Rosa Marina fruit salad. Now again, I'm modifying. This isn't in the recipe, but I love coconut and mine. Alright, so this is going in the oven and then, and then, and then you say... Taking a can of crushed pineapple, two cans of crushed, and two cans of mandarin. I'm going to drain them to get the juice, and we'll move on to the next part. So, water's boiling. Oh, there goes that phone again. Hold that for me, helper. In goes a whole box of orzo pasta. And that'll probably go right along with that timer. Um, for the coconut oil. In here I have about three tablespoons, get my fire on, three tablespoons of flour. And to this I'm adding approximately three quarters cup of white sugar, two eggs, and all of the juice that came out of those two, four cans of juice. So, I'm going to get this up to a simmer and cook it about five to seven minutes or just until it gets thick. And we'll keep the pasta going too. Ooh, moving right along. So, time to turn this off. Look how nice and thick. I wish you could smell it. Oh, pineapple, sweet, yumminess. Mmm. All right, over here, the orzo just finished. That's cooking, I'm gonna drain that. And these two things need to cool for at least a half hour, maybe an hour. All right, and I drained the cherries, two jars, added them to the mix, and the coconut is nicely toasted. Now that this all needs to set itself together, I'll work on our side dish. Now let's make a side salad. Into the bowl, I'm gonna put two chopped up, de-skin, seeded cucumbers into the bowl. To the cucumbers, I'm going to add just a little bit 
I chopped white onion. You could add a ton more. My belly's just not feeling very oniony. All right, two ingredients. To that, we're going to add just a little container of heirloom tomatoes that we had. I'm gonna do just a little touch of garlic powder and a little bit of parsley. Those seem to be my go-tos lately. Um, a little bit of the fresh cracky black pepper and the sea salt. And I got some more stuff to go in. Probably close to a half a cup of sour cream and about the same of mayonnaise. Ooh, I wonder if I have any black olives. Let me go look for this. That's one nice thing about having a bunch of pantry goods. I have black olives. All right, and then we just mix it together. And we have a delicious, very healthy, well, I don't know, now that you put the sour cream and the mayonnaise in it, is it still very healthy? Healthy ingredient, side salad. It just needs to sit for a few. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. All right, almost time to get the meatloaf out. We're doing pretty good with the timing. So this is one of those things you just never know how stuff's gonna turn out. So upon taking this out of the oven, well, number one, it looks amazing, but number two, I definitely think it needs crisped up. I'm going to put it back in the oven for 10 minutes and let's see how we do. So after a couple of minutes on broil, I think we got the crunch I so desire. Oh, it smells amazing. We're gonna let this rest for at least 10 minutes before we slice it. And, and there's the baby one for the baby. Oh, isn't that cool? And just so we're clear, look mom, dishes, they're done. And dinner's ready. I think that's impressive. So our orzo and our mandarins, our cherries, this has been getting cold for a while. I'm going to toss in the coconut. I'm also going to toss in about half a bag of marshmallows. All right, and then a drizzly drooly sauce. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Oh, the smell of that. All right, after I get all this mixed together, we're going to mix in um, one tub of whipped cream. All right, so I'm gonna ahead and toss the rest of the marshmallows in there. I just felt bad for them sitting out there all by themselves. And this, man, I'm gonna have to send some of this to some people. It's a lot of this. All right. The resistance. I know. I'm gonna fold this in. And this salad is complete. For the tomato cucumber salad, I added a container of feta crumbles. Make that a little better always needs cheese. My favorite to add into it is mozzarella pearls, but I didn't have that today. Beautiful salad. Alright, I'll we'll finish mixing this. And we, I'm throwing together some mashed potatoes too. This will go back in the fridge until dessert. And we'll cut some meatloaf. All right, the time we've all been waiting for. I'm gonna go straight to the middle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> Food porn. Talk about most satisfying video in the world, huh? Wow. Oh my god. Yum. Yummy. Not too much cheese, but a good amount of cheese. That looks amazing. All right. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you try the stuffed meatloaf for yourself. I hope you let me know how it goes. Please remember, give us a thumbs up, click that like button, comment, share. So this is us all cut into a piece. It looks so good. I appreciate every minute that you give me of your watch time. I appreciate all your help. I hope you make the meatloaf. Now I'm going to eat dinner. Stay hungry, my friends. Mm -hmm.